Welcome back to another update video for Mullen Stock, folks. I've been making videos on the stock for a while now, and today I want to talk about the chart levels, and then we'll talk about some of the other things that I want to talk to you about. Very first thing, I want to explain something to you guys that I've been making daily videos, and and when I started making the videos, the stock was hovering around, I believe it was around twenty five cents or so. Well, let me go up. Okay, it was hovering around twenty eight cents. Excuse me. So. What happened is we had a supply and demand at the time, right? Every time the stock moves down, the level that we had as a demand, which where the buyers were sitting, were no longer available, absent, right? At that point, everything becomes supply that, you know, these levels, only the sellers are sitting there. There's no demand here for this price action. The price falls down. It comes down to 25 cents, 23 cents, 22 cents, 21. Now here I have a level, which was a demand level on October 20, you know, 2022, which became a supply level a couple of a couple of weeks ago. Now we went down to another demand level, which was again in October, became supply again, which is 18 cents, came down to 16 cents. This was another demand level. There's a lot of buyers were sitting here. This was a good level. Uh, unfortunately, that also became a supply level at this point, right? And I'm saying the stock is heading down to 10 cents and I released a video three days ago. I do believe the stock is heading down to 10 cents because it came down to 15 cents. It went up to the supply level that I have, as I said, the new supply, the new demand level that was created like a couple of couple of days ago, been broken. Uh, you know, people lost faith. I don't know what's happening here, but you know, supply is becoming supply now. The folks are selling the stock, and if you see here, it comes up. You know, it hover, hovers around there. There's a lot of selling happens. It, sh it shoots back down, then comes back up, and then a lot of selling happen here, and then it shoots back down. So what's going to happen is going to come down. It's going to retest this level here for 15 cents. If it crosses this level, rest assured, you know, you're going to get to 10 cents. Of course, it could go in like, you know, 13 cents, 12 cents, and then 10 cents. But I think in my perspective, end result is 10 cents. And if I go to the one minute chart real quick, just to give you guys perspective how the stock is moving, this is one minute chart right now. And this is going to be my supply and demand level. You see how there's a steady decline. This would this will be your resistance. This will be your support. And every time it creates a lower low, the stock is heading down, okay? So I'm on a 15-minute chart right now just to give you guys perspective. So it is heading down to 15 cents, and I, if it's going to retest the level, and of course, if it goes down, it's going to go down. The problem is that people or institutions, and a lot of folks are also, I spoke to a couple of people, losing a little bit of faith on, on the stock because, again, believe it or not, this is a meme stock. Uh, David Mishri has uh, made a lot of million of dollars uh, based on retail investors, uh, thanks to us right to get him rich uh he was he was getting awarded for something that he you know there was a loss of 300 plus million dollars in last quarter of december but he got awarded more than you know a company that would that delivers a lot of stuff so you know at that point you know we helped them get rich okay this is exactly what it is and we're trying to get us rich eventually so institutions came out of the position as well institutions were at 10 percent you know, a lot of institutions came out. Now they're down to 7.3%. And I did, uh, somebody asked me a question that, um, why are institutions in the stock if the stock is, doesn't hold any value here? Well, I'll tell you what. A lot of institutions like BlackRock, Vanguard, Straight Street, big institutions, right, from personal experience, they do have a bucket where they sort of invest in startup companies, uh, invest in businesses that they think might grow in the future. So they do have a little percentage allocated for that portfolio as well so that could be it but it's not a lot 7.3 institution holding is very minuscule so you have to understand that this stock mullen stock is driven off of the warrants that these guys are diluting you know what david mystery does he creates up a, a warrant which he gives out to the market you know people that institutions let's say big dogs hedge funds and things like that hey listen i'm going to sell you this warrant in 10 cents a share or five cents a share and, you know, for X amount of money and these guys, what they do, they, they give them the cash, take the security, sell it in the market and the stock goes down. So this is what's been happening with the stock is diluted. As far as the cash flow is concerned, is negative right now. They are in negative. They're not making any money, guys. If you are spending, if you're giving them a dollar, uh, rest assured, you're not getting anything back because at the end of the day, they're, they're negative in their operations. Okay. They're not making any money here. Okay. Investing cash flow, they purchased uh, I think this is uh, through Bollinger when they acquired it. They're still down by 130 million on that. Financing cash flow is again the warrants these guys are giving out, and the money that we have been giving for the stocks is 322 million, which is why they do have 107 million on hand. 
if you think about it, they don't have a lot of money. Three hundred twenty-two million. And all they have left is one hundred and seven million, right, for the rest of the year. And of course, they're going to get that two hundred million, which hopefully will help them. In my opinion, the company has two years. Okay, two years. If they don't come and b- bring their act together, two years, the company will perish. And they are looking to do reverse stock split. And let me ask you a question as well. If they do a reverse stock split without any growth or anything as such, right? And the stock goes up to, let's say, $1.50. And again, that is not a growth from where you you know, you know bought the stock at $0.10, cents, it went to $1.50. No, the stock was reverse splitted, meaning if you had, let's say, five shares, it was combined into one. So let's say if the price of the share goes to $1.50. Would you still invest in this company at that point? Now, please leave me a comment and let me know if you if you would. Be careful with the stock. Uh, not a financial advice. I mean, you could do whatever you want with your money, but I would definitely be careful with the stock. Uh, only invest the money you're willing to lose at this point because the company at this point, it's um, there's nothing financially stable about the company right now, okay? This is why institutions are not stupid. That's why they're not in there, okay? If this company is going to be Tesla, institution would have been in there at least 30 percent or 40 percent at that point so hope you guys are taking these liking these videos if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing i'll talk to you guys in the next video